face each other in the semi-finals. It was Czechia United FC who had to take on the Chumukidma FC. Well, everybody thought that Czechia United would actually make it to the finals, but Chumukidma FC gave them a tough time and in the 90 minutes the match ended in a 0-0 draw. That led to the match going to the penalty shootout. And in the penalty shootout we saw Check A miss one as it hit the post and the other was saved by the goalkeeper of Chumukidima FC. Whereas for Chumukidima FC, they scored all their four, winning the match by 4-2. Well, on the other hand, it was Group B winners Thilika FC taking on the Purana Bazaar Youth FC. And that led the match to another penalty shootout and in the end, it was Thilika who came out victorious. Well, the second half action is about to begin. We are ready for it and may the hope best team win. We'll go now to the live action. A gentle reminder for all of us. There is a stall just behind Philippe's Philippe players dad to the right of the podium. Please avail yourselves some refreshments. There are light and heavy refreshments for all of you that have come today. Thank you very much. And for the fans at the gallery. There is also a stall which is set up for you. Filipus player down at the moment. The physio reaches there on time to assist the player. His job would be to get his player up on his feet. Well, both the semi-finals have to be decided from a penalty shootout. The first penalty, the first semi-final ended in a nil-nil contest between Cheke and Chumukirima FC, courtesy of 4-2 in the penalty shootout. It was Chumu that booked the place in the finals and Finiku against Turana Bazaar with the heroic save of Tonoka. The goalkeeper, the penalty spot expert, also winning the man of the match. Now this is Silico with the set piece. 
They will come forward long wide. Lim Sang is there, but the... Lima. Francis with the highest of jump, not getting the touch. Lima's pass is not complete. Now Lim Sang can break. Lim Sang is up against 10. Lim Sang's pass is intercepted by 5. Moon Mirren. Now 6, 4. Tam is keen with the thing on the right, right flank. Nasita back to his leader, Kenjin. Kenjin watching. Dinos, Alomar. Referee says yes. That is a pull on Alomar from Paul. So Filiku, back to back set pieces for them. Can they capitalize on their set pieces? They will have to do better of the balls. Have been delivered to the box as just the strikers in the box will have to do better. Francis this time over the set piece. Francis put one in the box. Lima, that's the header. Alumai. Lima again. We'll find Shomi. Shomi up against Chava. Chava concedes the free kick. Tap on the back by the referee for today, Mr. Running on Chava. Just telling him to play it cool, my friend. Here it is. Set piece time again for Filiku. Three set pieces in a row. Can they do better? They will have to do better to score. Now Chaba. Chaba is up against the captain. It is one versus three. And number three gets the touch. Katovi, quick release to the right flank. Moga Hucho, promising player, young talent. Drives it past to Nunsang, but this time the play gets up. Instead finds a red shirt, show me. Katovi. Here's the call from his kid. It is a free kick to Filipu, the assistant referee, just assisting the main referee for today.
and in the session will stand it is the fourth set piece for Fidiku. So, <laughs> A lot of mind games for this grand finale. Captain Tenjin just ensuring to disrupt the cricket taker for some few seconds before he joins the wall to protect this. Very, very promising position for Siliku. Very strong over this. And a right foot Alomai who is going to take it. The ball from here will get the giddy assist. Stadium burst with thunder and roar. So, chance for Shami Shami with the free kick. What a waste. Fourth consecutive set piece. Tiniku is this chance for them that they're not capitalizing. This is going to haunt them. It is a very kind request to the fans to not sit under the dugout of the players for both Siliku and Tumu as well. If you are a fan, kindly be seated at a place where you sit, which are there for you behind, so that it does not cause any confusion to the officials. Thank you very much. So then, play to resume. Ball with Chumu, Asito, Lima, man of the match, last game, back to Apiu. Apiu finds Sinlo, Sinlo with the cross. Sinlo will be disappointed with himself with that type of cross. He has delivered some excellent crosses in the box for his striker Chaba. This time, not to be has to do better. Both teams has to do better to get the early goal. Simbo, that's 11 versus 11.
Is this the first shot on target that we have witnessed at the finals? Now sure so. Top scorer is checked by Moa Murin. Moa Murin does well. Paul leaves it to his captain. To get the return ball. Akio. Winners with some acrobatic clearance. And as cool as you like, Captain Townsend distributes it back to his team. This is Asito. Asito looks for Chaba. Now Shomi. Shomi finds Lungsa. Five. Wormerin. Lima. Tanjin. That is a bad pass from the captain. Alumai will get it. Francis. Francis thinks about the true ball to Muga Hoto and Steve. Good work from Torito. Torito to Muga Hoto. Muga Hoto back to Alomai. This is good football from Kiliko until the final touch. Dispossessed by the blue shirts. Lima does ever so well, and that is even better from Paul. Alomai at the center of the park. Alomai just not looking for the run of Nunsan. He has to do better. Five. has conceded free kick on Francis. So the tensions are high, the nerves are high, but pressure running high on both players for this. Evenly contested match. This is Shomi. Shomi finds Suruso. And Norman uh, keep the throwing. This time Asito not holding the ball. Minsan. Minsan. Alamai does well. Look at the in the chance. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Can you just believe it? As I was saying about Mubahito, what a promising player, what a bad miss. It looks as though the roof of the gallery at DDS Stadium was about to blow off and he had to switch. Just not turning the switch on, that will go down as a bad miss. What a chance for Sumiku. And it is Chumakirima on the back foot. Munsan. And it is a foul from Tanjin. Chance for Chumiku. Can Chumiku score and get the early lead and break Chumakirima hearts? Chumu fans a little nervous and quiet at the moment. It is the Filiku fans that are enjoying the vibrance in the stadium because their team has just won the free kick and Tenjin with some medical assistance to Alomai. I'm sure the players will know each other both from the footballing fraternity. So it is all smiles. It's just on the pitch. We are 20 So now, the first substitution of the game. 
before we can witness this free kick. It is Kinwi who will come off. Kinwi's being at the office comes to an end as he makes way for jersey number 16 for two moves. The player is Wati, Salam Wati. Salam Wati's first job on the field would be to defend the streaking. Nunsang over the streaking. Nunsang puts the ball to the ball is still on top. James comes out of his line. That's it back. Torito misses his shot completely. Chada, now Wasito. Show me. Still danger for Chumo. Back to show me. Show me lunges the ball forward. Shuriso cannot get the touch. Sinlo. Torito. Danger is somewhat clear. Captain Tamjin. Sinlo. Akiyu. Akiyu raises his hands to appeal for the throw in. And he will get it. I beg your pardon, it is, it is gone. Filico's way. Nagaruto could have got his name on the scorecard. Oh my word. But still be disappointed with himself. Just have to slot the ball at the back of the net. But missing by some Nisho, now it's Nunsang. Nunsang with the throw in. Blue shirts can have it away. 14. Substitute player Wati. Dinosh for Katovi. Katovi has it back to Shomi. Shomi ball falls at the head of the two more players. Shumu can get possession back of the ball. The player that has just come on Wachi has to do better. Not the best first touch as you would see. Flag goes up, ball falls. Hits the arm of Captain Wachi. It's fair to say he was unlucky in the process. So the Manager of Chumakidima FC has has asked the referee for a cooling break. If you're wondering what this is about, tired players need some water break. So how about we have a cooling break as well? Just grab something to refresh yourselves from the stalls. We have some good beverages and some food if you like it. Lots of exciting prizes for the players. We will have the best managers award to be presented at the presentation ceremony after this match. We will even have the emerging player. Also, we will have the best goalkeepers award. The top scorer award has of now all of us know it's Suso. And behind Suso is Chawa and Lima. And we will also have the player of the year. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, enjoy, relax, this game and join us for the presentation ceremony as well. So now it is Chumukidima FC who thinks it is necessary for them to get their voices heard, to lift the spirit of the players. Chumu FC traveling far and wide, beating the Dimapur traffic to get their bodies present here at the stadium, so are the Filipino fans, good job in beating the traffic and reaching here on time, 
It was, of course, bad traffic today, but a good game being witnessed here. So, game to resume. Free kick to Filiku FC. will need the fans to roar louder to as they defend this set piece. So this is Alumai over this set piece. Oh, oh. There is there. Corner kick says the referee. So pressure on Chomu. Lunsan rushes to the spot to take the corner kick. Can Filipo FC score from here? This is Nuxan. We have five red shirts in the box. Waiting to pray on this delivery. The delivery is low, so... Chance for Filipo to make something out of this is going back in. Lima. Good work on Lima. Asito. Here is from Chava. Chava. Let's keep the ball in. Good work from Chava as well. Now Silo on his strong foot. Chava touches forward. The clearance is there. Tangent gets the touch. Shurisil will not get to the ball as Lima had a head start much ahead of him. Tangent looking to go long this time. Should be away. Tangent has to do better. Paul. A good first pass to Sinlo. Can Sinlo put the ball in the box, twisting and turning. Puts it one, it's blocked away. Sinlo can try again. But this time, he will use his arm to get the delivery. Long throw expert for Chumo. Time is running out for both teams. Do we have drama at the final seconds? Beg your pardon, at the closing stages of the game. Keeper rushing out to help his defense. This is Moa. Paul. Back to Shurusa. Shurusa against Matika. Shurusa. Oh. Excellent, excellent defending from Matika. What a chance for Shurusa. Shurusa just a little bit slow. I'm pretty sure he could have got the shot a little earlier than that, but excellent defending, I should say, from Masita. However, the clearance almost landed at the back of the net, could have been an on goal. Chumo survives once again. Tension, tension, tension. Ridden all over the ball area of Chumo. For Filiku, the shot comes in. It is a corner kick. So corner kick to Sumo. It is still pressure for Chumo. Filiku gets the advantage.
a lot of blue shirts and red shirts surrounding the officials. So ladies and gentlemen, in the case of a tie, if the scoreline stays the same, we are heading, heading straight away to penalties, penalty shootout. Oh my word, can you believe it? How much nervousness, how much space is left for you to carry the tension all around in this grand finale? Two teams, one team. Goes for the glory, other team will be heartbreak and heartbreak. All right, play to resume. It is corner kick for Filiku. Filiku with the chance. Can they score from here? Four or five red shirts in the middle. The header is there, but it is from a blue shirt. Nunsam. Nunsam thinks about the shot, but Asito takes the shot earlier than him for appearance. No, Chaba. Chaba does well. We have not seen much of Chaba. Checked by Chirito. Can Chaba disappoint Filipe Fernandez? it back to Paul. This is Sinlo, chested cruelly. Puts one ball in the box. It's Chaba! Asito! Oh, what a chance for Asito! Oh, my word. Just at the commentator's lines, they were about to break the hearts of Tiliku fans and Tiliku can breathe. This is Paul. Moa looking to attack from the left flank again where most of Tumul's delivery has come today. Alumai and Lima doing too much on the ball. But this is called an Alumai and the fans Fans are absolutely loving it. Free kick to Siliku. Referee Annan just points to the spot. Time running out. Who is it that is walking away with the DDF trophy? At the moment, it is nil nil. Can we see the first goal in the finals in the regulation time? Alomai this time gets away from Lima. Minsan playing on the opposite flank. Nafit Mosuso, this is Katovi, but Nafita does well. Corner kick, chance for Chiliku. Are Chiliku going to be the team that will score at the closing stages of the game. So much concentration has been in front. Can I be taken short? Alamai with his left foot in the box. Number three. Do not get a touch. It is Lima. We see some activity in the touchline of Filippo. Just as the did against Pino Bazaar. They will have to replace the goalkeeper Tonoka, who came in as the substitute goalkeeper. Made some excellent saves. And in the process, took his team to the finals and got himself the man of the match award. So he is preparing himself to come on. The manager just sensing that this game might as well go to penalties. But for now, we still have time to go. Toruto. Katowi. Akilu. Sinlo. The teams obviously need some sort of inspiration from the fans to see the first goal. Back to Muga Ocho. Show me, show me does well. Cuts it back from 16. Show me, good goal to Muga Ocho. Still Muga Ocho, Muga Ocho puts it back. Oh, what a chance for Alamar. 
and this is top top defending from up here. My word. Mega Hotel is the player to watch out for. Dangerous ball into the box. Alomai was over it. Well, we thought it was 1 0. But excellent defending. And goalkeeper, Tonoka, the stylish goalkeeper with the old blonde hair, is up to make some styling, stylish saves if the game goes on to penalties. Exactly. Corner kick again for Filippo. Pressure on Chimo now. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, closing stages of the game. Personally, would like to have the match ended in the regulation time, but for referee signaling. Mega Hucho can get the shot twice, still has the ball. And Akil is on the ground. So the pressure will... Today at the office has come to an end with some decent contribution. The player replacing him, him I believe, is the penalty expert, Asilie on 21. So Chumu says, if Tiliku can do it, we can do it as well. So two new goalkeepers as referees have a look at the watch. And we have one late drama. Time is ticking. Alumai has to pass the ball sooner. He does it. Is this the last chance for Filiku? Alongside Lumsan against Akinio. Lumsan gets the cross. Shooting with the header. Oh, what a chance for Filiku to kill the game. And that is the end of the second half. End of a contest between two mighty, mighty teams. We are. Both sides not able to cancel each other out. So ladies and gentlemen, get up on your seats. It's done. How long will you sit? Time to get behind your fans. The third penalty shootout. Oh well, who would have written the script? A very important announcement, ladies and gentlemen. The penalty shootout will not start if we have any bodies behind the goalpost. The penalty shootout will be taken to my right from the podium. I request the fans to not walk across the goalpost. In some time, I believe the management team will have the spectators from not making any sort of movement so as to disrupt the momentum of the game.
Also a kind request to the Scorpio to kindly park your car elsewhere as we are about to begin the penalty shootout. Thank you very much. Well, if you're a fan and you're there in the DDSC Stadium, then you're in for a treat because this finals has now entered the penalty shootout stage. Well, due to the rules of the competition, if the match ends in a draw, it does not go to extra time, but it does go directly to the penalty shootout. Well, this is the third penalty shootout. The first semi-finals between Czechia United and Chumukidme also ended in a penalty shootout. So did the semi-finals between Thilika FC and Purana Bazar Youth FC. That also went to the semi-finals. Now, both these teams have actually won those penalty shootouts and now they are here and now both are going to be competing with each other. We saw that Towards the end of the half, both the teams, that is Thilika FC and Chumukidma FC, got in their penalty kick specialist goalkeepers and both of them are now there. Whether, they, whether Thilika's keeper will be able to save those, make those saves like he did against the Purana Bazar Youth FC, that is much awaited. Or, and also whether Chumukidma uh, goalkeeper, whether he can also make a save like the day he did against Cheke, that is also much awaited. Well, what a treat of a final this was. They were close encounters, close moments, especially for Thilika towards the end when they got a few couple of chances. Alomai not hitting the net, Mugauta not finding the precision that he actually wanted to get. But sadly, the score ended in a 0-0. Both the teams wouldn't have won to actually enter into the penalties, but they have now entered into the penalty shootout. And remember, this is a penalty shootout. Even the best players have their bad days. So who is going to have a good day and who is going to have a bad day? That is, we are yet to see that. But this is a cracker of a final. And if you have witnessed it, witnessed it this is history in the making because the level and the performance of these boys playing there is a hats off to them. And also to all those people that have, are actually on the stands and supporting their clubs. Kudos to you guys. You make everything successful. You are the reason why these players feel even more motivated to play and do what they do with their heart and soul. So thank you all for actually supporting our footballers there. This is the Dimapur DDSC Stadium. It's near Golagat Road. So if you're just there, you should definitely go and watch the penalty shootout or else you can tune into Hornbill TV and watch the penalty shootout. I think both the teams are now strategizing as to who are going to take the kicks or who is not going to take the kicks and both the goalkeepers will be quiet to themselves and will be wondering which kick taker is going to shoot which side. So they will have a lot of calculations to make. As for the viewers, we can just sit with our fingers crossed and hope that our team wins our, and actually may the best team win. But it's a penalty shootout. Anything can happen. Even the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi, they have missed some penalties. So we can never say. But this has been an enthralling. Well, the Players are ready. The first kick, I guess, is going to be taken by the check by the Thilika Youth F Thilika FC. So, without any delay, we'll go to the penalty shootout. Thank <laughs> you. 
we clear making marching forward is one of the promising left back Mr. Shoney he's got a man of the match award to his name as well we'll have to convert this to make it 1-1 one, one. he's up against the goalkeeper their best player and Lima another best player so in terms of teams sharing the spoils it is still 2-2 the famous number seven is over this penalty shoot it is Lung Sang with 
one of the best left foot in this league, Mr. Sinlo, has an advantage. If Chubu scores this, they will go up 3-2. So Sinlo should have no pressure over this. He's up against a good goalkeeper, Tonoka. is on his knees kneeling and praying and I'm sure his prayers was heard by the footballing gods what a chance for Chumu to take advantage but wasting the advantage or rather a good save it is still 2-2 two -two. next player up is It is Alumai for Silico.
celebration. It is 3-3. Three, 3-each. Three. Three so nothing to separate but the sides still. Next player over this is Torito from Iliku. Torito is the starting lineup today against Jumu. football it is heartbreak to lose the finals like these but at the end of the day congratulations to Chumukidima FC let's give it up for Chumu FC playing good football I'm sure disappointment will be there for the teams but look, they can come back stronger next year. For now, it is the goalkeeper Tonoka who is getting the limelight. And the spotlight is on him from the fans of Siliku. Ladies and gentlemen, do not leave. We have the presentation ceremony coming our way in some time. Thank you to all our sponsors. Okusa Toyota. This league is powered by MH Cosme Hub. Co-sponsors Kakit Surf, Fitness House Nagaland, Case Constructions, Bistro 29, and Hornbill TV. For
Well, congratulations to the Tilgo FC team. Well, it was the match. What a match. 3-2 in the penalty shootout. It could have been a little controversial from the Chumukidima point of view, but towards the end, the final whistle, whistle blew towards the Tilgo's team side. And Tilgo are Dimapur's best team. They have earned the bragging rights to call themselves Dimapur's best team. And they will be very proud of themselves as to what they've done today and over the competition. Well, as for the Chumukidima side, uh, it's pretty saddening to see what happened with their penalty kicks, but coming second to that too in the debut season, that is quite an achievement. So they should be proud of themselves. Yes, of course, they will feel a little depressed that they've lost the finals, but they should pat themselves on the back because of the competition they've had this year. Well, this was Hornbill TV's live broadcast of the whole season of the Mapu District Football League. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation. Well, when during our live broadcast, sometimes uh, the footage actually lags a bit, but that is due to the beautiful uh, mobile networks that we have in Nagaland and all over Nagaland. But out there, it's because of the mobile network that our quality lags to a bit to what it has been lagging. But we've tried to provide you the best experience that we can. And us, this being the first league in Nagaland that we've broadcasted, we hope we've done a good job and we hope we've made you happy. Well, that was it. This was Hornwheel TV exclusive broadcast of the Dimapur District Football League. Well, if any sporting events or anything like this happens again in Nagaland, we will be the front runners to actually go there and capture the whole live action. So wherever you are, I hope you have a good time. And now that the Christmas season is approaching, a very healthy Merry Christmas to all of you. Stay healthy, stay safe. Goodbye.